Hello, I'm John Mallows, and welcome to Connect With Me here on MeTV Fresno. Today, a very special guest on the program. We're live from the showroom floor of Ventura TV. He is the Fresno County Coroner. He's been office, in office now for the better part of 29 years. He's well-known, and he's very well-respected. Our conversation today on Connect With Me, Dr. David Haddon. Stay tuned for that and much more here on Connect With Me, live on MeTV Fresno. Welcome back to Connect With Me. I'm John Malos here on MeTV Fresno. You're watching us live on Comcast 187 and 43.6 from the showroom floor at Ventura TV. And I'm glad to have you along on this Friday morning because we have a very special guest on tap. His name is Dr. David Haddon. He is the Fresno County Coroner. Now, you know, I moved to Fresno back in 1996. And back then, it was almost like the Wild West here in Fresno. It seemed like there was a shooting or a stabbing or a homicide almost every night. Well, we're not quite like that now. It has simmered down quite a bit. The situation has calmed down. Law enforcement has really gotten a handle on things since then. But last night was a very interesting evening. There was a homicide, there was a drowning, there was a traffic accident with three people were killed. We'll talk to him about the new Fresno County Coroner's Office, the pressures of the job, what the job responsibilities are being the Fresno County Coroner here in the city of Fresno. And as you well know, you know, when someone passes away, it's not an easy thing. And especially if it's a homicide, usually the press is down your neck or down your throat trying to get the results, the toxicology reports or whatever they might be. It's not an easy job. Someone has to do it. And Dr. David Haddon has that job. We'll talk to him in just a moment live here on Comcast. Ventura TV Appliance Center. We're the save energy, save time, save money place. The Energy Star qualified number one rated high efficiency Cabrio from Whirlpool Place. You heard right. Right now, save big on select Whirlpool Cabrio laundry pairs and pay no interest when paid in full within six months. At the hometown low price, think outside the big box place. Since 1951, Ventura TV Appliance Center, we're working hard to be your place. Hey, you're just in time. The promo for my show is coming on. I'm Lou Grant. Mary asked me to do a promo for me TV. You want to see me, Lou? <laughs> not now, Ted. Watch me on Danish. Don't I said not now, Ted. Watch me on me, me TV. You don't like me? I'll fire you. Watch Mary Tyler Moore. I'll fire you. Exclusively brought to you by Ventura TV. Yeah. Welcome back to Connect With Me here on MeTV Fresno. I'm John Malos on this Friday morning talking about our guest, the very well-respected Dr. David Haddon is our guest. Dr. Haddon, thank you for being here on Connect With Me on MeTV. Appreciate John, it. John, it's, it's nice to be on set with you again. It's been a few years. Yes, it has, and it's good to see you again, too. You look, you look excellent. You're in great health, and you look good. Nah. You look good. Play a lot of tennis. And you stay in shape, then. Try to stay in shape, yeah. Yeah. Well... Overnight, uh, here in Fresno, we had uh, a homicide, of course. We had a little traffic accident that someone was killed and a drowning of, of, of an infant. So um, your job is not an easy one. Uh, these three cases are on your plate as far as today and over the weekend is concerned. H how do you conduct the investigation as to what happened? Well, it, it's especially difficult when we have a confluence of deaths like this, but those deaths represent a pretty good cross-section of what we deal with all the time. Uh, when they come all together, we're, we're stressed. Uh, I have one pathologist on call, and he has a deposition, and uh, everybody wants the autopsy done right away. So uh, we'll work around it as best we can. Unlike TV, it takes a little time. Right, and everybody is down your neck trying to get the results. Well, not everybody, but a lot of people may be. The, 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 the biggest aspect of your job, let's, let's just take these three cases that, that, that uh, happened overnight. 
What's the first order of business for you? Well, in the, the first thing we do is go over the cases. We have a morning meeting. And there were a lot more than these three cases. We briefed probably a dozen cases this morning. And there may be a yet another autopsy in that group as we do a further investigation. When you said you, you, you briefed other cases, pending cases? or Yes, the investigation starts with a phone call. And uh, then a deputy coroner takes the call and decides whether he can handle it on the phone. Maybe it's a hospital case. He gets the information from the hospital. The doctor's going to sign. Um, and so we make a record of it and don't get further involved. Or he may have to go out on, on the case. Well, in all the cases that you mentioned, the, the, um, the coroner's deputy would respond. Then, then the deputy comes back and in the morning briefing says, all right, this is what I discovered. So in the morning briefing, we discovered that a car made a left-hand turn uh, in front of a motorcycle and the motorcycle hit the car. Uh, we, we discovered that a gate had been left over open in the drowning and uh, we don't know very much about the homicide yet mm -hmm. except that there were multiple gunshot wounds right and that's all information that your deputy that's has it. has uh, accumulated overnight and then reports directly back to you yes At, uh, along with uh, a possible drug overdose uh, and a bunch of natural deaths uh, heart attack and so forth so then these cases are evaluated they're prioritized and then they're turned over to the pathologist who will start the autopsy. So how many people working in the coroner's office? Do you have a deputy coroner, we, yourself? We you have, have a pathologist too? Or that we have there? two pathologists. Okay. And they're, they're stressed. They're working maximally. We have right now four coroner's deputies, but we're recruiting for two more. Uh, somebody asked me the other day, well, why so many? Well, Fresno County is 6,000 square miles. Right. And if we have to respond to a traffic accident on I-5, that takes one deputy most of the day. They have to drive out there, work the case, and drive back. So if technically the, speaking, how many deputy coroners would you like to have on staff? Well, six will be, will be good. Six. And then how many pathologists would, would do? Well, I'd love to have one more pathologist, but they're, right. they're expensive. We're going to try to work around the shortage of pathologists. These people are very hard to find. Uh, not everybody wants to go into this field and not everybody has a California license. So we're really restricted on the number we can recruit. And so we're trying a, a workaround. We're going to uh, experiment with virtual autopsies, which is uh, part and parcel of the new morgue that we have. Uh, this is a T CT scan where you can run the scan and if you don't see anything else and you have uh, a positive toxicology, for example, then you can sign the case out without an autopsy. Okay, the order of business, though, would be the deputy reports back, you guys have a meeting, you find out what exactly happened initially. These are initial reports, they're not final. So, what happens after the meeting takes place in your office, uh, you gather the information, what steps need to be taken from that point on? Well, you, you make a very important point that these are the initial reports. The case is always open for additional information. So the pathologist may say, to the deputy, I need more information about this. Uh, you know, get the following information. Usually it's medical in nature, and they get these reports from the hospital or from the doctor's office. So it's quite common to say to the deputy, all right, call the doctor's office and find out A, B, and C. Then once that's done, then we make a list of, of the autopsies, which autopsy we'll do first, uh, which one we'll do later. Uh, for example, on a homicide, the law enforcement people will want to come and be there, so we try to schedule it around their availability, find out when they're available, and we try to work at that so, way. So who orders the toxicology reports? Who orders the autopsy? Who's in charge of calling you and saying, I want an autopsy? Who, who, who does that? No, the autopsy decision is work? made in-house. Oh, that, is that your decision? Yes. Oh, and, I see. And, uh, the forensic pathologist. We okay. will sit and discuss it. I, I don't try to say uh, you have got to do this. It is more a give and take. Suggestive. Suggestive. And sometimes I'll say, well, are you sure you really want to do one? And they'll tell me why they do. And other times I'll say, well, I don't think we need to do one. And they'll agree. 
Will law enforcement sometimes encourage a toxicology report or an autopsy? Well, we pretty much take care of that, but they will give us information which suggests that we need to do one or, or not do one. And toxicology is a big thing. We do lots of toxicology. How do you do that? How do you take a toxicology report? I mean, even if you got to get a little graphic, it's okay. How, how is it well, done? Well, we draw blood. Okay. And if there's no blood, we take a tissue sample. Uh, okay. You, you know, if the case is been in the woods for a long time and there's no blood left, we'll take a little piece of liver. But generally it's blood and urine and uh, sometimes gastric content. And then th these are shipped to the laboratory where they do the toxicology. Where's the lab located? Well, th we contract that out with a laboratory in Tulare. Okay. Now, uh, we don't have the volume to have our own laboratory. Mm -hmm. uh, we could go into the expense of testing, but right. it really, it's it's volume related. And the more you do, the cheaper it is. Yeah. So and an the toxicology will not come back for uh, at probably in most cases two weeks, depending on which toxicologies you're ordering. And sometimes longer. Yes. Yes, especially if we we go out for additional testing. Uh, there's a test called All Scan, which you test for just about everything you can think of, and that takes several weeks. Mm -hmm. And an autopsy, how do you perform an autopsy? Do you have to make an incision in most cases, or how is that done? Yes, the, the autopsy is a scientific investigation of the body to determine a cause of death. And how is that conducted, physically speaking? Well, the, the body is, is opened with the usual Y-shaped incision, and the organs are viewed. And, and then each organ is examined. Uh, the organs of interest are, are really the heart, because most of our cases are heart-related. Uh, you, you think of us as doing the, the trauma, which we talked about this morning, but most of our cases are natural disease. Okay, and the organs that you examine are the heart, the liver? All organs. All organs. All organs, yes. They're, they're, we, don't, we do not do partial autopsies. Okay, and, and, and when you say examine, do you send them out for testing, or how is that done? No, the, the pathologist observes them and dissects them, and that's his skill. In looking at those organs, he can tell whether there is something wrong. That's why it's such a skilled position and that, hard to find a pathologist. That's, that's right. That's it takes a lot yes. of training. It's yeah. four years of medical school, four years of residency, and then a special year for forensic pathology. Yeah. Well, Dr. Haddon, we're going to be uh, continue more of our conversation with you in just a moment. Got to take a quick uh, brief time out here on Connect With Me, Me TV Fresno. You're watching us live. We're back in a moment with Dr. Haddon. Ventura TV Appliance Center. We're the save energy, save time, save money place. The Energy Star qualified, ready, steam equipped, high efficiency Frigidaire Affinity place. You heard right. Right now, save big on select Frigidaire laundry pairs and pay no interest when paid in full within six months. At the hometown low price, think outside the big box place. Since 1951, Ventura TV Appliance Center, we're working hard to be your place. Sunday night. Let's move. A perfect night for crime. A perfect night for me. You've got to help me. Me TV, that is. With detectives. My name is Gunn. Fugitives. I didn't kill her. Guns. Surly. This is the Twilight Zone. And much, much more. You'll go along with that, won't you? Sunday Night Noir, starting at 10, 9 central on Me TV. Ventura TV Appliance Center. We're the low price leading brands reliable advice place. The Frigidaire Gallery Dream Kitchen Get Yours Today place. You with me? Right now get huge savings on select Frigidaire Gallery appliances and pay no interest when paid in full within six months at the hometown low price think outside the big box place. Since 1951, Ventura TV Appliance Center, we're working hard to be your place. Welcome back to Connect With Me on Comcast Cable and 43.6. You're watching Me TV Live from the showroom floor at Ventura TV and continuing our conversation with Dr. Haddon. Talk about the new Corners office here in Fresno County. 
it, it is not often that a coroner has something pleasant to talk about. Mostly it's tragedy and you have to be somber, but I got to tell you, I really get excited when I talk about the new facility. It is a world-class facility, probably the best in the state. Uh, the only competition we have is down in San Diego, and of course they're a much larger jurisdiction. Yeah. Uh, What's so grand about it, let's say. <laughs> well, for those of us coming from the old facility, and maybe some of your viewers uh, remember how I used to talk about the lack of air conditioning, uh, the oh, yeah. holes in the floor, and, and so forth. Well, we Matter of fact, I remember seeing photos in the Fresno Bee. You remember yes. those? Yes. Yeah, I remember those photos. Well, th this was a part of a long-term campaign to get people, uh, mainly the Board of Supervisors, to understand that what we had was really third world. Uh, interesting story, uh, it, it was such a crummy place that if you just walked in there and then walked out, you felt dirty. Yeah. And the first thing Dr. Gopal, our chief forensic pathologist, said when he finished an autopsy in the new place, I feel so clean. Yeah. And it, it really is. It, it sparkles. It's so what clean. What do you have in there that you didn't have in the old facility? Just about everything. It, it, you, you've hit on why I think the new facility is so good because we said, all right, we're going to correct everything that's wrong with the old. There Can was you name a few items? There was so or? much that was wrong with the old that the new one is really good. Sure. Uh, for the pathologist's comfort, it was a lack of air conditioning. Oh, so biggie. That's a biggie. Really, really biggie, big. especially in a morgue like that. Yes. Yeah. And, and for doing Doing our job, it was lack of refrigeration for uh, body storage. Uh, we had a very small refrigerator. It, it was des the space was designed about 30 years ago, so over time the population pressures made it too small. And uh, now we have adequate storage for 200 bodies, which is a huge change. And you have the proper refrigeration. Yes with the air conditioning and we have proper lighting now. We have operating room type lights. How many square feet compared to the old facility? Oh, it's about four times as large. Yeah, yes. and that's good for you. And it makes you look forward to going to work each morning. <laughs> yes, and, and one very important point that isn't often mentioned is that when you go to hire another pathologist, if they have a crummy facility like that, they'll go to positions that are open in Merced, Modesto, San Francisco, but with a brand new facility, sparkling clean, the ability to do research, uh, with the CT scan, because no jurisdiction our side has a CT scan. We're forward thinking in that regard, from doing the virtual autopsy, lots of things to attract a now, young pathologist. You can attract the young pathologist or a deputy coroner and put your arm around him and say, come on in and look at our facility. Yes. This is what we have to offer with a smile on your face. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. And, and, and how big a difference does that make? It's huge. Because a, a forensic pathologist, they're, they're so short, they can go anywhere they want. Uh -huh. yeah, well, we want them to come to Fresno if the need arises. Mm -hmm. And this facility, uh, th they told me, be sure, Doc, that you design one that'll last 30 years. And I said, that's crazy. <laughs> it took me 30 years to get this one. I'll have to start on the next one right away. So we've designed this, uh, I believe it should last 80 years. Yeah, and what was the cost? Do you remember on this one here? Yeah, it's about $7 million. About seven, and well worth it. Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah, in in the long run, if you if you amortize that over 60 to 80 years, you realize that it's going to be Yeah, it's well going to pay it. for itself. Yes. There's no question about it. And it's a good thing you're not trying to get it now in this day and age with the economic situation. It's a good thing that you, you've, you've got it. Yes. Imagine trying to go to the board now to get it. W one thing should be clear that the money for, for the board came out of cigarette funds, a cigarette tax. Right. So those are what we call capital funds only used for projects, building projects, not for salaries. Right. Nonetheless, difficult to get in this day and age, whether well, it's a cigarette tax or not. And go ahead. Confidentially, it was a little difficult to get even back then. <laughs> <laughs> but even tougher so now. Yes. I got into your background a little bit, and I, I, I know when I first moved to Fresno, uh, you were here, obviously, in office in 1996. Uh, you decided to retire a few years ago, and then Lori Cervantes uh, ran for the position. She won the position, and then you beat her outright just a few years ago because you came out of retirement and wanted to run again for re-election. Why did you retire, one? And number two, does it feel as good the second time around? Well, the, the backstory on the retirement is that I, I felt obligated to get a new morgue and it wasn't working. That's why we you were came making back? no progress. Oh, no, that's, that's why, why you I left. Yeah. Okay. Because right. very often the new person coming in 
well, they're new and they got a better chance. Well, it didn't work. And then uh, I had no intention of coming back. And the forensic pathologist came to my house and said, you've got to come back. I, I need a professional to work with. Because a, a there medical was no doctor. other driving force in Fresno beating the drum to get a new coroner's office? It was only you? Yes. You're kidding. No. Well, the B was would run an editorial now and then, and the grand jury was very supportive. And there was nobody else out there beating the drum except for Dr. Haddon? Fundamentally, yeah. And, and it would only come up in the press and, and so forth when I went out and campaigned. And not, and not to say anything negative about Lori Cervantes, because we're not here to beat up on anybody, but she wasn't really beating the drum either? Oh, yes, she was. And, she and, was? Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah, but it, it, it didn't work for her. Mm -hmm. And then when Dr. Gopal asked me to come back, uh, I said, no, I'm, nobody wants a retired coroner coming back. And <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, you were wrong. It, it looked like he was going to cry, and my wife called me aside, and she said, yes, you are. <laughs> <laughs> so how does it feel the second time around? Oh, it's, it's, it, I am so glad I came back because I have accomplished what was one of my main goals for years uh, is the new facility. Yeah. All right. Dr. Haddon, will you stick around? Absolutely. We got something to sell here, if you can believe that. We got to make right. some money. Is that All okay? right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I've been looking at the TV sets. I want to buy one myself. Here. Okay. <laughs> well, we'll take your credit. No, I'm just kidding. All right. We're going to continue our conversation with the well respected Dr. David Haddon, the Fresno County Coroner, in just a moment. Here, you're watching Connect with Me on Me TV Fresno. Ventura TV Appliance Center. We're the save energy, save time, save money place. The Energy Star qualified number one rated high efficiency Cabrio from Whirlpool Place. You heard right. Right now, save big on select Whirlpool Cabrio laundry pairs and pay no interest when paid in full within six months. At the hometown low price, think outside the big box place. Since 1951, Ventura TV Appliance Center, we're working hard to be your place. Chief, I think we got a hit on our Me TV Fresno, now on Comcast Channel 187. Ventura TV Appliance Center. We're the low price leading brand's reliable advice place. The Frigidaire Gallery Dream Kitchen Get Yours Today place. You with me? Right now get huge savings on select Frigidaire Gallery appliances and pay no interest when paid in full within six months. At the hometown low price, think outside the big box place. Since 1951, Ventura TV Appliance Center, we're working hard to be your place. Welcome back here to Connect With Me on the showroom floor at Ventura TV. We're here with Dennis Patton. And Dennis, what beautiful item do you have today? Well, today we actually have the Magnavox VCR DVD recorder with a digital tuner. Oh, okay. So does that mean I can take my old videotapes, the VCR tapes, right, the old VHS that we have lying around, and can I transfer those to a DVD with this machine? You sure can. In fact, it's so simple. If you put your uh, VCR in there and a blank DVD, it's a one-button situation called dubbing. You hit it, and it records everything for you. Really? Uh, just the, the click of a button? Just one click of the button. All right. And what's really nice with the digital tuner, that means you can actually hook it up to a regular antenna, and you can watch all the local channels for free, especially Me TV. Me TV Fresno. That sounds familiar. I think yeah. I've heard of that. I've yeah. heard of it too. It's yeah. a really good channel. I, I've heard of Connect With Me too. Anyway, more about this uh, unit here. Also too, besides doing the dubbing, it will actually record for your VCR. So if you have recordable VCR tapes, and also if you have DVD recordables, it will record your DVD on regular channels. So, so if I want to record Connect With Me on a DVD, I can do it with this machine? You sure can. You could put a rewritable disc in it, and you can copy it every day. Every single day. Okay. What are you talking about in terms of price here? This, uh, what, now what brand? This is a Magnavox. This is a Magnavox. Very good quality. We uh, have it for $249. Usually we sell it for $199, but for Connect With Me, 
uh, viewers, we are actually selling it for only one twenty nine. One twenty nine, and that's good through noon tomorrow, I believe. Just for the Connect with Me viewers here on Me TV, is that yeah, correct? Correct. All right, one hundred and twenty nine dollars. How does that fare against the competition against the other stores? Well, actually, we checked this morning on the ads and found out that uh, Best Buy doesn't have it in. The only one that's out there is Sears, and Sears has it for a refurbished model, not even this company, for $200. Okay, and our price again is? $129.99 plus tax. Holy cow, that's amazing. And how does Ventura TV do that? Can you tell me? Yeah, we can. We belong to a $12 billion buying group, which actually means we can buy a lot, which makes the price, or price go down, and we can pass the savings on to you. Okay. We don't have many units left here, so got to get over here and get it. Yeah, please come down. We, we have a lot, but not that many. So yeah. come on down if you want one. 129 bucks out the door. Thank you very much, Dennis Patton. We're going to continue here on Connect With Me. You're watching us live from Ventura TV, just about 10 minutes from River Park, 10 minutes from Clovis. We are just off the 41. Our conversation with Dr. Haddon continues in just a couple of minutes here on MeTV. Ventura TV Appliance Center. We're the low price leading brands reliable advice place. The Whirlpool Dream Kitchen Get Yours Today Place. Check this out. Right now, get huge savings on select Whirlpool appliances and pay no interest when paid in full within six months. At the hometown low price, think outside the big box place. Since 1951, Ventura TV Appliance Center. We're working hard to be your place. Want more of me? Me? Go to MeTVFresno.com for schedules, information on your favorite shows, videos, pictures, and more. Go to MeTVFresno.com today. Do you like me? Just like me. Like Me TV Fresno on Facebook. Get the latest news, interact with others, watch videos, become a fan of me. I am a lawman. I've been marshal of this town for 13 years. James Arness is Marshal Matt Dillon. If they were looking for me, they're going to be back. On Gunsmoke. That's right. Weekdays at 1 on Me TV. Is taking care of laundry taking too much of your time? Have you become a missing mom? With a new fast, efficient washer and dryer from Ventura TV Video Appliance, you'll spend more of your day the way you want. Save now on Frigidaire's Advanced Affinity Laundry Pair. Let Frigidaire save you energy, water, and time. Don't spend your life on laundry. Upgrade today at Ventura TV Video Appliance and save. Welcome back to Connect With Me here on MeTV Fresno. I'm John Malos, and we're continuing our conversation with Dr. David Haddon. And Dr. Haddon, I know you said that uh, you came back because you wanted to get that corners office built. Now that it's built, is it a model for the rest of the state of California? Yes, definitely. It's uh, unique in that it was designed by pathologists. So many jurisdictions hire an architect, and they say, oh, build us a morgue. This county was very forward thinking and they said well we've got a lot of people with experience what do they want in terms of a morgue and it made it a very special place for a pathologist right and I want to get into this issue just a little bit because we talked about it before the show one of the deaths that occurred last night was an infant who drowned in a pool talk about in your opinion as a, as a coroner you've seen a lot in 29 30 years and, and plus um, give us some advice for those who have children those who have a pool in their backyard, safety tips are what? You talked about some of the stresses of the job, and this kind of case is, is one of the most stressful because it's uh, not only stressful for the coroner, but for the relatives. They should have, a, the pool should be fenced separate from the house because if it's not fenced, very often somebody leaves a door open and the, and the innocent youngster has access to the pool. Got a quick phone call? You're on the air with Dr. David Hatton here on Connect With Me. Good morning. What's your question? Hi, uh, you, Hello. Guys, I'm just curious why you guys took for a half hour of time. Is it going to be something? Oh. Okay. We'll get into that later, and we'll try to answer that later. Thank you very much for the call. That was a programming issue, and we're not going to talk about that now. But let me talk about to you about... You know, your job, you're dealing with death. How do you handle that mentally and emotionally, especially over the course of 30 years plus? 
it, it's a question I'm often asked, and for me, it involves two things. One is a strong religious conviction that there's something better when we move on, uh, and we certainly hope so, and the other is a sense of humor. Uh, so these two things help relieve the, the stress. Yeah, Dr. David Haddon, appreciate your time. Would you come back? Oh, I would like to come back. We didn't even begin to talk about all the advantages of the new facility. Okay, maybe next time we can come over and take some videotape and show our viewers and you come I, back and talk about it. That would be perfect. We'll set that up. Thank you, Dr. David Haddon, the Fresno County Coroner. You've been watching Connect with me on MeTV Fresno. Have a great day.